Hi, right, what's up? So, it's time for us to get ready to tap maple trees here at Mulder Acres Maple Syrup. And so I just got my order in from Bascom uh, Maple Supplies, uh, where, where that's where I order from. <clears throat> and so this year I am uh, switching to five sixteenths drop lines. So in the past, so I used three sixteenths uh, gravity vacuum. Is um, so what that means is basically I tapped trees um, I got quite a bit of an elevation dif difference because I've got a creek running through the middle of my property and so when I tap the trees in the back side of my property running down towards the creek it's all gravity vacuum that pulls the sap which is a lot better than using buckets um, and obviously I don't have to run pumps so this is gonna this is my uh, 316 line and I used to make all my drops out 316 too but uh, I think with the volume I'm getting out of these trees, um, it, it might work better with 516. So at least I'm going to try it this year. So, so this is for my main line, so I'm not going to be doing anything with that right now. So this bag here, I have 100 taps. Um, these are just 516 max spout uh, made by uh, CDL. So this part obviously goes into the tree and then got the barb, which is essential to make a good fit with the, with the tubing. So it's got a 5 sixteenths base to it. And then these here are my T's. And so it's got a 5 sixteenths on the top. So this is what's coming, the drops coming into. And then uh, 3 sixteenths on the sides. And that's what's going to connect into the to main line. Um, and then this is so you can store the tap. I also always get uh, a handful of these. These are just um, for in case my line, something happens like last year, I accidentally uh, broke a piece of my tubing. So then I, I can just put one of these in to quickly patch it. Um, so I always get a handful of those. And then uh, this is a uh, 1964 tapping bit. These are kind of expensive, uh, but highly recommend. Much better than just using like a DeWalt bit, for example. And really good at getting debris out of your tap hole, which is a big deal uh, to make sure you have a nice clean hole before you put your tap in. So highly recommend getting uh, a specific maple tree tapping bit. Uh, for <clears throat> then a couple other tools. So, so this is the special pliers you need to uh, put the T's and the taps into your line. And you know when you're putting your taps into your uh, 316 line, this is essentials. This thing's expensive. It's over a hundred bucks. I got this thing used, but uh, huge. I mean can't do what I'm doing without it. So it was a must have, one time expense, and uh, super handy. So don't short yourself here. And then this is just a tube cutter, because uh, you're gonna be cutting lots of tube. Uh, yeah, just a box cutter here. So I'll just show you kind of what I do. Um, be careful with uh, the tubing, obviously, because if you it's just it gets kind of uh, kinked up sometimes. If you're not careful how you're unwinding it, obviously you don't want to nick the tube with your razor blade either. So my drops, I think I'm gonna do, um, I got plenty of tube here. I got 500 feet of uh, the 5 sixteenths. And so I'm gonna do 30 inch drops this year, I think. Or 24, I don't know. I'll, pro I'll probably do 30. Um, I got, like I said, I got plenty, plenty enough. 
Uh, I think I'll probably do around 100 taps. So. So I'm just going to measure out my first piece. And obviously this doesn't have to be exact. And then just get it close to 30. And then I can uh, cut it here. And then um, now then I can use this for every sub, you know, just use this to cut from now on. So on the one side, I'm going to put in a tap. So I'm just going to uh, pop my tube here, and this is set for 316, so I gotta pull it out here, make sure it's not so tight. Okay, so you want that gripped in there, and then uh, just gonna use the pliers to push. I'm a little too loose. I'm just going to use the pliers to push this barb in. Now you can, the first year I did this, I didn't have a pliers. And so I used, uh, um, just heated the tube up with water, hot water. But this is obviously not better. Now once that's in there, I mean, you can, can, I mean, it's in there. Okay, so you want a nice tight seal to keep the vacuum. Uh, I mean, that's, that's awesome. That's Okay, so then on the bottom, we're going to put a T. And uh, so again, I'm going to pop, pop my tube into here, into my pliers, clamp it down, and then um, just use my pliers, gently push it in. Again, nice tight seal. You can pull on this all you want, it's not gonna come out. And that's the advantage of having a pliers like this. So, there you go, there's one. And I'm gonna make somewhere between 100 and 125 of these. And you wanna do this every year. You don't necessarily, you can, you can clean the tube at the end of the season, but you want to use new um, taps and tees uh, cause otherwise they get, um, bacteria or whatever in them just from the use in the season. And then you, uh, don't get as good of, uh, you don't get as much sap actually by the end of the season. So lots, lots of these to do. And, uh, that's what I'm doing on my, the last Friday night in January. I did uh, 40 or 50 um, drop lines last night. My hands were getting pretty sore from squeezing my pliers here. So I just brought in my bench vise. 
and uh, that's really helping. Might take me a little bit longer to do each each one, but obviously it's easier to just turn this little crank here and watch the thing go into the tube. I'm just I'm just doing it for the tease. So that's that's pretty good. I'm just doing it for the tease because the um the actual spouts here go in a bit easier. So sometimes you gotta improvise. Alright, so we got a uh, 90 drop lines done. And so just got 10 to go. The uh, bench vise has been a real hand saver. All right, we're on the last one. <laughs> That's it. 100 drop lines. Now we just need the temperature to get up over 32 so we can start tapping trees. Can't quite that, get that one all the way in so I gotta reset it here. slide in a bit. Alright, so there's number two. Oh, kidding me. Blooper. Don't do that. Not paying attention. Okay, now for the other side, put the tap in. Alright, so there's number two. 